Welcome to the SC2K Show 2015 Year in Review. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man and the Wee Guy. Hey, yo. Hooray for the year of 2015. Yep, Star Soldier could not join us, but he he did record a pre-recorded clip. Did you say Star Soldier? All right, how's everybody doing out there? You know, happy to be a part of ST2K again. You know, 2015 was pretty awesome. Hopefully, 2016 will be eh, okay. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I just remember playing all those awesome video games and just remember being, you know, just part of the action. Even though I wasn't technically playing this stuff, it was cool to see every gameplay of it, like when we were playing, like, you know, Double Dragon. You know, I was just playing Double Dragon Neon here on the Xbox, and it's a very awesome series. You know, there are a few bad apples out there, like Double Dragon 3 and Double Dragon 5. <laughs> but, you know, you can't go wrong with 1, 2, and Neon. And also, Part 4 was pretty good. Although, it gets very confusing. And the Neo Geo <laughs> Double Dragon was okay. And... Okay, enough of the Double Dragon. Also, another good one was Super Punch Out. <laughs> Very fun sequel that I don't think gets the respect that it deserves because I think it's better than the original Mighty Titans Punch Out because, you know, you just have more characters to fight and the graphics and gameplay felt a lot smoother. But it does miss a little bit that Charm not having Mighty Tyson there. But ain't no big deal. And if you want your wrestling fits, of course, you know, we went on to WrestleFest. Yeah, I love the arcade games, and it's cool that the WWE is starting to realize, okay, these games are pretty good. Let's see if we can release them on different formats and keep the roster the way it is. <laughs> Thank God, you know, you don't play WrestleFest with Roman Reigns or Sheamus in it. No, this is, you know, classic WWF. Yeah, WWF WrestleFest, not WWE. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't know. I'd say it was a pretty good year. Uh, lots of video games to play, lots of commentary, not too much Mega Man 5. <laughs> Little Nemo the Dream Master. I remember that particular review too because that one is a pretty underrated game too. And I don't think Capcom is going to re release it. Yeah, Capcom. The, the, the NES podcast. NES podcast? Yeah, remember that? Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, just going back and forth on the system. Sadly, I got rid of my NES collection this year, so it's kind of bittersweet. I still have a lot of the knowledge of the system, and I still had a great time with it, with the decade-long history I had of collecting all those games, but I also got 40 grand <laughs> from the collection, so don't cry for me. I don't know, am I missing anything else uh, there? Mm. We also, uh, we talked about this uh, earlier. Um, the Magus podcast was pretty cool. Oh yeah, it was cool to hear from Magus again because he was silent for so long and, you know, we're wondering, where the heck is a guy in? It was cool because he was actually part of our podcast. We got to chat with him again and see what he's up to. And yeah, it's cool to, you know, <laughs> catch up and all that. Yeah, that was cool. All right, so I think that is it uh, from Star Soldier's End. Thank you very much, Star Soldier. No problem. For uh, recording this audio clip. And uh, too bad you can be here live, but our schedules are all different. So, all right, and uh, all right, thanks for joining us, and Happy New Year. See you all later. Happy 2016, everybody. Woo! All, all right, later. thank you very hey. much, Star yeah. Soldier, for that. <laughs> yeah. Too bad you couldn't be Arizona here. champion. Yeah, Arizona world champion, yeah. Woo! -hoo. All right, so, yeah, 2015, not a bad year at all for being on YouTube in general. I talked about that a little bit in my, I think it's my New Year's video, was it, uh, on Ron Moore channel. And, yeah, uh, as far as the S2K channel, not a bad year. Not as productive as previous years, but definitely not bad. Um, and, yeah, man, I mean, there were some great highlights. 
that really happened throughout the year. Um, but we'll talk we, when we get to that point. Point we'll talk about it later. But J Man did do some videos on the channel this year. Yes, so that was great. Um, so starting with January, uh, of course, we did the 2014 year in review, which was about an hour long. And I remember it was uh, me, We Guy, and J Man in that one. So 2014 wasn't was not a bad year for S2K. I think probably the worst year, to the best of my memory, might have been 2012 because that was production was real slow that year. Yeah, it was either 12 or 13. One of those years. Yeah, those were probably the two uh, maybe slowest yeah. years. 2011 actually wasn't bad. On my channel, the Ron Moore channel was kind of bad, but the S2K channel wasn't that bad. We did with uh, Mario 3 and all that good stuff. And Oh, yeah. But uh, 2014 uh, definitely was not bad. Um, and then the first LP of the year in January 23rd was Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. Yes. Better than Green. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, better than Green's version. Well, that was three, but, I mean, you know, well, well, Double yeah, Dragon's all around. Is, yeah, for Genesis. You're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. And um, so, yeah, Double Dragon 2, definitely my favorite out of the three on the NES. That was a very fun LP to do. I know we got Star Soldier. I think Green himself was in in that series. <laughs> you brought up the memories. Yeah, the I did. Greens, like, I, I said, oh man, I, I think I said something like, "Well, unlike uh, the one for Sega Genesis, this one will be audible." And he goes, mm-hmm, "We'll see about that." <laughs> and then all of a sudden, uh, someone off to my door is a mafia contact. No, uh, a anyway. challenger appears. Yeah, really. All right, and. Here's a fun one I really love doing. Uh, started in, um, let's see, March. I did Double Dragon 3 next. That was good. Damn it. I wish yeah. I would have saved my comment for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, Double Dragon 3 wasn't that bad of a game. The music and graphics definitely are good. Absolutely. It, it could have been worse. I mean, there's worse fighting games out there for NES. Oh. Great uh, music. Mastery Brawler. Jeez. Uh, yeah, definitely awesome music. Double Dragon 3, if nothing else, has freaking awesome music. And I remember uh, it was funny. In, in the uh, There's only two parts. Uh, the second one featured, I think, the last three levels. And I was fighting the level four boss. The um, He's the only boss you fight that, other than the final boss, Marion, who's under that spell, what, that don't join your crew. You know, you fight the ninja and then that slow, fat guy who didn't hardly do anything. Uh, Use Chin. Use Chin. Yeah, Chin. But there was a boss in the Italian stage. It was a big, buff, Brock Lesnar-looking guy. And then... Uh, it was a uh, big green. No, it was... It, we got we got said, man, he's got a buff chest. And then Purple... Did I say that? Yeah, man, he's got a buff chest. And then, yeah. pur- and then Purple says, nice observation, we guy. I mean... <laughs> oh, gotta oh, notice the nice, buff chest. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what? I'm just saying. What do you mean? Yeah, and so that was that was uh, on tax day, we did let's play Beavis and Butthead for the SNES. That was pretty fun. Should have done Wall Street Kid. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Perfect. That would have been perfect, perfect for tax day. Yeah. Right. So I, I think the whole series of Beavis and Butthead for NES, well, I mean, NES, SNES featured. Weavis and uh-huh. Buttman. Weavis and Buttman. Yeah, that was good. I like that. I like that combo. Yeah, that it's like the, it's the Rocky and Bullwinkle of, I guess, that LP. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, so was it like uh, like Gentoo and We Guy? No, I think it was just us three the entire. Well, for Rocky and Bullwinkle, I'm just saying for this one, it was you and me with the Beavis and Butthead when you were here. Uh, voice acting, just like in Rocky and Bullwinkle. We did a bad job. It was, I mean, I mean, we can't do a good job, so it was still for the lulls. And I never liked. I didn't like the game, though. Never liked. I loved, I loved the cartoon and the movie. Never liked the games on SNES and Genesis. I just it just did not do it for me. And that, this is even back then, when I was a big fanboy of Beers and Butthead, and I played the games. I'm like, no, nah, these games suck. I just didn't. <laughs> I didn't like them. Virtual stupidity was awesome. 
Was that on the Genesis version? No, uh, that was uh, PC. Uh, I'm not sure if it was on PS1, but I do know that it was a uh, PC game. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. I never. Great used, game. Yeah. That might have been best port, maybe, because I, I mean, for the way you described it, because I did not like Genesis. Yeah, it's, it first. yeah it's, it's not a port at all. It's, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, there's different ports like this SNES version, the SNES port, Genesis port, then the PC port. Um, right. So uh, I probably should look that up on YouTube, see what it looks like. Because I, I did hear that stage before, virtual stupidity. Um, what was not stupid, I failed segue. Uh, the next LP, <laughs> Rambo for NES. Again. <laughs> it strikes. Yep. That was pretty funny to do. Had to use ECW mode, and uh, got to play through that game. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, as you have to do with ECW mode. Yeah, I know that was me, you, and um, yeah, us three, pretty much. I don't know, probably the whole series. I don't remember, but it was a third person. <laughs> you just said me, you, and yeah, the, uh, us three. Well, oh, I, I uh, meant uh, us three. Yeah. Do the, uh, do the tagline. You gotta say the tagline. Nothing is over. Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, say it. Well, it's, it's too late now. Nothing is over. <laughs> Nothing is too late. I was going to say that, but we said that so many times. It wasn't funny. It's not funny anymore. But, um, yeah. We do video games, like, over and over and over. Yeah, okay, anyways. Well, that's, that's different. It's on different channels in a different form. Like, in 2010, it was a low-budget review. And then five years later, we did it as a Let's Play. So, but anyway, so like low game. budget. Let's play review. Look back. Awesome. Yeah, pretty much. Yay. Hey, if AVGN can do it, so can I. But anyway, <laughs> all right. Bye, say. Yeah. Okay. And then in May, started Mega Man Six LP. I remember in previous years. It, oh yeah, we got. The, I remember we got, that. We got. We got. We did Mega Man One. And then I did Mega Man 2, and then, yeah, I did 3 also. We got did 4, and I did 5 and 6. I remember when 6 was supposed to be something done, like, a long time ago, but... Yeah. Yeah, just... You guys there. sure did a, do a lot of Mega Man. Sorry. I mean, we only did 1 through 6. Yeah. I, I mean, there's... Out, I was yeah. trying to find out who wants to do 7. And I thought Gen 2 was going to do some, one of the Mega Man games, but I guess not... I think I think that's what he, he was gonna do six, and that was, yeah, that just never happened for him. Like him doing it or being the one in charge. Yeah, yeah, that pretty um, much got scrapped. Mega Man Eight, jump, jump, slide, slide, jump, 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 I kind of hope that. Yeah, that, yeah, that would be good. Though it gets done like <laughs> logical good. order, like let's do seven yeah. and eight first. That would be the thing, though, is that it would be like someone would have to do seven and eight. Eight would be the the most difficult, I would think. Yeah, and I know in 2010 I didn't I was not exactly chronological. Uh, I was Maybe. chronologically confused because <laughs> I did Golden Axe two low budget review first, and then decided. Well, let's do one. So we did like the next week. We did part one next. But whatever. Oh, you can never have things perfect. Yeah, we can't be Kurt Hennig. Points yeah. of reference. Well, Maybe, that's, uh, uh, that's Sega for you. Yeah. And so while we were doing the Mega Man Six LP, uh, we also uh, we had our next S2K show interview with Magus. <laughs> oh my goodness! I remember that. Yeah, I forgot we got you were in it for a little bit. I showed up like near the end. Yeah, and even Max was like, "We got it's okay. You can say something." No, it's I just, okay. I had nothing to say. Because <laughs> I really thought you knew Magus. Like, oh wow, yeah, I don't know. No. <laughs> but you were like, "No, who's Magus?" Like, what? I never heard of Magus. No, but, I've heard you talk about it many times, but I never really checked him out or his channel or anything. Yeah, but. Hour-long podcast uploaded June third, two thousand fifteen. Me, me and Star Soldier were in that one. That was pretty cool. To me, it's probably the highlight of two thousand fifteen on S two K channel. Getting him in a podcast where we interview him and 
it was very good topics on there. He talks about how he blew up on YouTube by accident. He uh, ended up making the whole website hate him or want to kill him because he ripped on a fan-made Chrono Trigger game or something like that. And that's how I actually got well-known in 2008. And he talked about um, how I think Simper Games, I don't know if he had a little feud or something going on with Simper Games, kind of making fun of him or starting something with him. And, um, of course, we talked about the uh, Magus death hoax of 2009. And he explains yeah. his side yeah. of the story and how that came about. And there's other stuff he talked about in there, too. And it's a very, very interesting podcast. Very good to listen to if, if anybody has not checked it out yet. Strongly suggest you check that out. Um, very good I, interview. Uh, good stories. I, I just want to say uh, I remember uh, coming to meet you again. Uh, yeah, late summer. Wait, do I now? And, uh, oh, coming to meet you, uh, once again, and we watched the, uh, well, part of the, uh, Mag Magus, uh, podcast. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, yes. That was when you came over to visit, and, right. um, we did watch part of that, uh, the story of, uh, the, the whole death thing. The right. pepperonis and cheese and all that stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. Valentino. Yeah. But yeah. Well, we're Pretty idiots. Good time. We're idiots for uh, uh, falling for it. Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, like, really, who could blame anyone? When I was, I was joking. I was being sarcastic. Well, I guess suppose I mean, we are oh, idiots okay. for falling for it. I mean, everyone can blame anyone, but or him. Yeah, but I came, I came close to making a tribute video to Magus. Like, yeah, guys, this is Ron Moore. I just found out. As you guys know, Magus died, blah, blah, blah. And I held, I held off on it because, number one, I was hoping it wasn't true. Number two, right. I was like, yeah, well, I need more confirmation or something. Something's not right. And then a few hours later, that's when Same Other Geek and Beltina uploaded a video saying you guys are idiots. And so, right. yeah. Well, yeah, it was, it was good to get the explanation. So Yeah. 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 And um, so that was a very good podcast. Um, and so moving on to the rest of the month in June, I did a quick video saying that the S2K website is back. That's another major highlight of 2015, <laughs> S2K related. The website is back. I've loaded it on April 1st. <laughs> no, it actually came back in June. I, oh, well, I was, trying to make, I was making a joke that okay. Uh. Oh, the, uh, I remember the April Fool's joke uh, saying, yeah, S2K is going to uh, be gone. But I was actually talking about the website, not the channel. Yeah. I saw a pull to Arch Fiend where he said, I'm not going to make videos here anymore. But he was talking about his room because he was moving. But, <laughs> yeah, so the uh, website is back. And uh, it's kind of cool if you like forums to be a part of forums. So it's a nice, small, pretty active community so far since June. And so, yeah, it's kind of cool. Here, during the holidays, I think it's still up right now. If you log in, if you're a member and you log in, there's little Christmas light bulbs at the top. And you can actually, when you roll over the light bulbs with your, with your cursor, they all burst. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And some cool topics on there. Yeah. 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 Good Shameless stuff. plug. Yeah. Check it out. It's at com And in the description box, shameless plug. All right. So... Moving on, we finish up Mega Man 6, and the next LP started in July. Let's play Punch-Out for NES. What's that game? I don't think I've ever heard of that game before. It's uh, like Power uh, Punch 2, but better. Oh, uh, that's a rip-off. I think you got, got punched-out during that time. I don't know. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was definitely one of the best LPs on the channel. The original, I did uh, Punch-Out with Mr. Dream. It's the same game, but I thought, you know, of course it's huh. easy to pick the Mike Tyson version. Just pick, do a little something different and pick the Mr. Dream version. Um, I know in part one it was me and Star Soldier in that one, and I think we Guy. Uh, I joined in. Well, I think in, in, in other parts. I'm, I know in part one is me and Star Soldier, I think. And then um, part two, I know Jeff is in one of the parts. Yeah. And uh, J-Man's a uh, uh, favorite person on YouTube. And Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, no, uh, we guys, uh, you're my favorite we guy. Oh, I'm the only we guy. <laughs> No, he meant you're my favorite, comma, we guy. Yes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And yeah, so that was a fun LP to do. Punch Out is an awesome game to play. Very mem- memorable music, memorable opponents. Of course, my favorite, um, uh, Soda Pop Pinsky, where I fought him in part three. Let's play Hawaiian Punch Out. So that was good. Thank you. So many people say uh, Ball Bull is their favorite. And I'm with oh, you. I mean, you know, to each their own. <laughs> to each their own, but I mean. I thought you were going to say thank you, but the Hawaiian punch out. I was like, okay. <laughs> it's a weird thing to think of before. Yeah. Um, and then the less discussed portion, I think it was me, Star Soldier, and Wee Guy. That one, that was pretty good to discuss yeah, that. Yeah, gave it like a 2 out of 10. Not a good game. It took me a, yeah, it took me a bunch nice. of tries. No, I didn't. <laughs> Punch out! Yeah. What, what, what am I gonna say about it? It took me a bunch of tries to beat Mr. Dream. You mean a punch of tries? Yeah, a punch of tries. I'm about, I was about to punch out and just quit. I but, think uh, you anyway. got uh, punch drunk. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh wait, that's me. Sort of Popinski. Yeah. yeah. Did he say that to me? You gonna get punch drunk or something? I forgot. No, I don't think so. He said something like that. I gotta go back and look. Something punch drunk or. Um, he made a pun in there uh, during the ha- – not halftime. What's it called? The intermission, whatever. You're in the corner for 30 seconds. I don't know. i got to go back and look. But anyway, fun LP. All right. Let's, uh, let's pun shout to the next thing. Well, um, July 23rd, which is the sixth anniversary of the channel, the S2K Show six-year anniversary podcast with me and Gentoo. And that's about 30 minutes long. We couldn't get no one else to join. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, and so... Sorry. No, uh... uh and, tribute to uh, Jeff's mom doing laundry. Yeah. The, yeah. With the very first words you heard... Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, the very first words you heard on the very first LP that was done on the channel in 2009. Don't forget to get the clothes out of the dryer. From Jeff's mom. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, and of course, uh, also off topic a little bit in 2009, we can't forget we got saying, cool, Jeff, I want to meet your mom. Yeah, goes, that's a weird oh, thing. Wait, oh, okay. What? Your mom likes Nintendo. She's cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the six year anniversary podcast was pretty fun. Me and Gingy discussed some stuff. Very Sweet interesting topic. Sorry, had to say it. <laughs> and yeah, me and Gingy had talked about, of course, all the six years we've had. And I don't know why I said that's all topic because the 2009 Metroid, that's a part of the six years of SC2K. And we talked about how commentaries can get real sometimes where we might kind of get on each other's nerves. Like, we got, got on my nerves in Mario 3. Um, Star Soldier Hi. getting on my nerves in Mega Man 5 and 6 and all that stuff. But, I mean, it's all for, you know, I mean, we're all, you know, a group of friends here that we're, we can, you know, uh, we can get away with that with each other because we know each other well, and it's all you know, for, for in, in good intention, and it makes for interesting commentary. And so that's all yes. good stuff. And uh, we talked about other stuff too. I forgot, um, but it, it was a it was a good thirty minute podcast with just two people. It was pretty good. Um, now to hate to be a downer, but um, August seventh, two thousand fifteen, me, Star Soldier. And Michael Burhan from Nerd Genius made a brief appearance in this podcast. We talked about the passing of Rowdy Roddy Piper. Um, and it was, it was about a week later we did this. We really wanted to do a podcast. It was about a week after he passed, we, we did it. And uh, it was about an hour long. And uh, that really sucked. I mean, of course, uh, on my channel, we, we, I taught me, Star Soldier did a video about Dusty Rhodes passing. So. As far as this past summer, it sucked in terms of people passing away, and the president of Nintendo passed away, and then Dusty Rhodes and Ronnie Piper. Uh, that really sucked, and I just watched They Live um, a few nights ago with um, uh, friends of mine. We had movie night on Friday night. It was their first yeah, time watching it. I remember uh, that. Yeah, and I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all hey, out of you gotta wear your shades. Right, right. I love that movie, and man, it sucks that Roddy Piper passed away, but he called it. He did say in 2005 or 2003 um, he was not going to make it to 65, and unfortunately he did not. He died at 61 of a heart attack, I think, in his sleep. That really sucked. Rest in peace, Roddy Piper. We did a podcast on it on August 7th, so for those of you who haven't seen that, check that one out. Um, it was it was almost as shocking as Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, really. 
that one really shocked me more because yeah, that's what I said. Almost. I, I know, but I'm, I'm saying like that, that shocked me stuck. more because Piper was like pretty much inactive in the business. Like you probably didn't hear much about him for a while because he wasn't really in the business anymore. Warrior was just inducted in the Hall of Fame that right, weekend. and then drop out like just like it. what the heck, man? Yeah, that really. I think sucked. maybe uh, like that was. That was what he needed, and then he was. That was it. He was done. I've talked about that with people. I'm like, man, Jody said, I wonder if he, like maybe that his final purpose in life, not if if not planned by him, but just his destiny or whatever, so to speak, is just to make ends meet or bear the hatchet with WWE, right. and then after all that, he had the good moment, and then like his time was up. Yeah. I do believe that is the case. Um, I've, I've heard of uh, other people that I've worked with uh, retiring, and then not long after they retire, uh, well, you know, yeah. that's it. Yeah, I've heard of that too, and that's why some people don't want to retire. They're afraid, well, what's next for me? I might as well be dead or, or, or just not feel like going on. I've heard a story from um, someone who he said, this guy retired, and then one day he sat down in his chair at home, and then passed away. I was like, "Wow!" I would, crazy. I would hope that uh, that particular person was um, hopefully comfortable with themselves or uh, health issues. Uh, well, it, yeah, maybe, it could be it. Yeah, maybe yeah. it was just their time to go. You never know. You really never know. Hey, you never know. And um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to something more of a, a, a more happier, I guess you could say. Um, now, DJ from an old friend of mine, he's like an administrator on the website, and uh, I've known him since 2003 online. He started uploading videos with no commentary, but it was uh, gameplay footage from Batman Arkham Asylum and fighting uh, boss battles and all that stuff. And so um, I watched a few of them, but I didn't really care to, I guess, because there's no um, commentary and it wasn't a long a long play I really wanted to watch. But yeah, I guess he's he, he was like, man, you know, I, I want to upload some videos in S2K. I, I like to show some footage of this and that. And I said, okay, go ahead. And I gave him the login. So throughout the month, okay. like on August 13th, 12th and 13th, they uploaded a bunch of videos, uh, a lot of them from Batman Arkham Asylum, Joker Battle, uh, Titan Battle, he uploaded, uh, uh, I think, uh, Poison Ivy Battle or something like that, and Rage PC gameplay, um, Grand Theft Auto V gameplay for PC, um, Skyrim opening scene, Saints Row multiplayer, I think, and more uh, some uh, Grand Theft Auto IV footage as well. So for those of you who care to see that, now you can go check that out on the channel uploaded by DJ. And so he showed uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto Five before he showed Grand Theft Auto Four. Yeah, just asking. Yeah, well, Grand wow. Theft Auto Four it was a short. It says it's called Grand Theft Auto Four Physics. And I haven't seen all these videos, but uh, it's called Grand Theft Auto Four Physics, and it's only a minute thirty five seconds. And so it seemed like at random he was uploading uh, gameplay footage of this and that, and that's fine. I have no problem with that at all. Um. And so, uh, but there's, but for those of you who look for commentary or anything, it's, it's not a let's play. It's just a footage of some boss battles from those games I mentioned. And so, yeah, that was a uh, DJ's first time ever uploading anything on the S2K channel. He did have a reset button YouTube channel, which was the form that kind of replaced S2K. It's a long story with that, but. Uh, that channel didn't really get to take off, and I guess he said, well, you know, S2K has, has some moderate success, have some sort of following. I could probably do some videos on there, some newer modern games. I said, yeah, go ahead. But, um, yeah, so I let him do that, and, that, that you know, that's kind of different, kind of cool to see uh, more modern games and all that stuff. If you, if you care for Skyrim, Saints Row, Grand Theft Auto V, and all that stuff, you can check that out. And then later on that month, or probably the same day or the next day is when I started the next LP. Let's play Super Punch Out. Yes. So me, Jeff, we got J Man was in that one, Star Soldier 2, and that series. And so 
yeah, that was pretty fun. And I remember I got pwned by uh, was I think I got pwned by uh, was it Super Macho Man or um, someone had I was doing pretty good. I think actually uh, yeah, I got pwned by Super Macho Man. Like knocked me out, had to fight him again. So yeah, Super Macho Man Randy Savage pwned me, and then uh, of course you got yeah, to- I think I gave you shit about it. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and there's other the old the only old school people in there were Super Macho Man, Bald Bull, and Mr. Sandman. And this game is easier than the original NES version. Uh, the Bruiser Brothers are not nearly as hard as Mike Tyson. They can be challenging though at first. Um, but the Bruiser Brothers, um, you know, uh, once you figure out, of course, just like the regular Punch Out, you figure out the pattern, the game gets easier. But Super Punch Out in its own right was pretty fun. Uh, I mean, I'm, yes. I mean, I remember when it first came out. I was like, man, Super Punch Out on Super Nintendo. It looks more realistic. How supreme. Yeah. Yeah, so Super Punch Out. Interesting characters on there as well. And they, they really shook things up. Like, it was more like a b- ECW boxing or something because you, you now you can use canes. You can kick. You can spit in the eye. You can spit. You had a bear. Yeah, a bear hugger. Uh, I was trying to give you a hug, but when he tries to give you a hug, it hurts you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, so uh, it, very, they had to shake things up a bit, and that was pretty cool. Um, and good soundtrack. Not as memorable as the NES version, but uh, different variations of soundtracks. For Each boxer had their own music, I guess you can say. They just showed the screen, you know, as if, if they were going to enter the ring, they would walk out to that song. So that was pretty cool. They had their own signature music and uh, I, I don't know the history behind it but it doesn't seem like it was actually made by nintendo i may be wrong but you know like super punch out yeah it was I mean, it, no it was yeah okay it just doesn't doesn't seem like it was but you know like i can tell from super metroid i can tell from you know other games that Nintendo made in, in the uh, Super NES era, um, I can get, I can detect the uh, Nintendo thing, but yeah, I don't know. Good job. Yeah. Well, your hit detection is off, and my speaking of hits, I uh, suppose so. There's a time attack mode. And uh, a time attack challenge, whatever it's called in the game. And it keeps records of your fastest knockouts and all that good stuff. So, yeah, a lot of fun stuff to do in Super Punch-Out. Man, very fun. I loved playing it back when I was in junior high. It was good times back then on Super Nintendo. All right, and so that LP was done. And then we on October 23rd, we celebrated... Uh, we're a few days late, but we celebrated the 30th NES anniversary. The 30th anniversary of the NES. We did the uh, podcast talking about that. That was an hour and a half long. That was a very fun podcast to do. That was all of us were in it. Uh, I know us three. Was there someone else that was in it? I started since you were in it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, us three, Star Soldier, might have been it. Um, that was very fun. Uh, talked about all our fun memories with the NES. Talked about Rob the Robot, how I never got it, but I probably wasn't missing anything. Uh, yep. All the great games, the great franchises, and all that stuff, and how it saved the video game industry in, 19- the, in 1985 when it came out, because in 83 had the big video game crash. The NES really came on board and put video games back on the map and all that good stuff. That was uh, probably, I know I say like that, it's one that uh, probably the third highlight of the year. To me, like uh, that podcast, the NES 30th anniversary, the uh, Magus podcast, and then the uh, S2K website coming back. So yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, go NES. Yep, definitely. Very fun podcast to do. Also, oh, absolutely. I also got a new logo this year since the relaunch of the website. New S2K <gasps> logo, so that's pretty cool. Even though I know it's so colorful or yeah, blue. Yeah, you know uh, the one we had before that was awesome too. I mean, but it's been years we used that, and I figured uh, it'd be nice for, for a change, not to sound like Owen Harp. Enough is enough, and it's time for a change. Points for reference, and yeah, I think me and Jamie and Star Soldier, you know, we know wrestling, but we got anybody else to be on S2K probably don't. 
know too much about wrestling at all. I'm, I'm wrestleless. Yeah. I'm still learning, but uh, yeah, I'm getting pretty good. Well, we, we'll actually get to wrestling here in just a second. But before that, the next LP in November. This is very fun. Let's play Lil, Lil Whoa, Nemo uh, the Dream Master. I see your lawnmower over here. <laughs> Dang it, what? Yeah, go ahead. Anyway, I was saying the next LP is Little Nemo the Dream Master. Ah, yes. Yes, very fun. Again, oh, you did it again, Ronnie. You're going back to the old games again. You did that already. Ronnie already did it. Um, yeah, so I did I did do Little Nemo two times before on the Ron Moore channel with the Long Time No Play in 2012 and then the Low Budget Review in 2013. This year, you know I had to bring it on the S2K. Little Nemo the Dream Master, one of the best games Capcom has ever come out with on the NES. Very challenging. Besides Mega Man. Yeah. <clears throat> Very challenging, which is why I had to cheat and use ECW mode. But it's all for fun and games. Get it? Uh, anyway, it's all for no, fun, no. and uh, the game is so dreamy, And but it can't be a nightmare <laughs> in terms of challenge, we, in, especially in the last stage, which has the whole game has epic music, especially Nightmare Land. We fight Freddy, I mean, or whoever, Nightmare King, whatever his name is. Um, I mean, very awesome game, awesome ending. Just uh, everything. I can't think of anything bad to say about Little Nemo the Dream Master. It's very good. I forgot what rating I gave it. I mean, besides it's too hard. That's yeah. You're in ECW but you know mode. what, though, looking back, though, I mean, it is, it, it's still the right kind of challenge. Again, like I've said before, I always go back to what HVGN said. This is back when games were actually hard, not easy, pampered. Easy games of the day because we don't, we don't want to damage the kids' self esteem. BS games were hard back then, just like real life is hard. And so, but it's the right kind of challenge. I mean, yeah, Metroid hard. I can't, I, and I still have not beaten Metroid today, legit, but it's the right kind of challenge. Uh, but when I mean BS challenge, I'm talking about Batman Forever for Sega Genesis or. I can't think of any other games off the top of my head, but that game was BS hard. It's like stupid, ridiculous. Or in some cases, Simon's Quest with the BS cryptic false information you get. Um, but Little Nemo the Dream Master had the right kind of challenge. And uh, But just like Metroid, it may be hard and piss you off, but it's the game is good. Good music, good graphics, and uh, good controls. So everything... I think with Capcom, like... Uh, it seemed like they made their games a little easier as uh, as they progressed. Yeah, but I think a lot of companies did uh, because I mean, uh, they, when I think well, of- I was just saying Capcom in particular, you know, because of little little Nemo. Well, uh, that's true. I remember Street Fighter Two: The World Warrior Bison being freaking hard. The bo- the bosses were hard, and then Turbo. And Super came out, and they were easier. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. And, and so that was definitely a fun uh, LP. I, uh, I, some of the parts I named it um, Little Emo, the ECW Master, and then Little Emo, the Nightmare Rookie, Big Emo, the Nightmare Master, and all that good stuff. And so that was a very fun LP to do. Um, Part yeah. 5 was my favorite in uh, particular. Yeah, that was the uh, Nemo's house. Yes. Yeah, that was good. Great music. Yeah. And while we were doing that, J-Man started his own LP for the first time in years on the S2K channel on November 9th. Hey. Let's play Defender the Crown Royal. Oh, man. That was good stuff. That was fun to do. That was. I brought it back to like 2000, I don't know, 10 or 11. Yeah. yeah. That was fun to do. Now, what was the last LP you did before that? Was it uh, uh, Night Trap? Probably Donkey Kong. No, Night Trap, I think. Oh, yeah. I mean, he didn't really do that LP. Well, yeah, that's true. I totally played that game, I swear. (laughs) Yeah. You played the heck out of it. Yeah. Um, So, Night Trap. Yeah, backgammon. Yeah. And then, uh, man, made a little comeback toward the end, uh, 2015, Defender of the Crown Royal. Not a good game, but it made for... I mean, if you like those type of games, you might actually like it, but it was a good 23-minute video of lols, and, and, and plus it was good to see J-Man do a video again on the channel, so that was good. Yes. Um, it, it is a uh, decent strategy game. Uh, like Ronnie said, if you're into that, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. And the next LP done, which I uh, just started. Or no, I started December first. Let's play the Goonies, which is still ongoing. Yeah. Another great game from Konami or Ultra, whoever made it. So uh, I was gonna... I'm gonna have to go ahead and disagree on that. And and so I I, I like the Goonies too. Pretty fun game, hard but good, and I love the movie, of course. And I think a sequel's gonna come out this year. <laughs> can't can't wait. Yeah. Uh, so J Man, why don't you like the Goonies too? Uh, it's a shitty game. Okay, now I'm getting confused because at first she was like, "Yeah, I don't like it." Then, then during the LP, I, I have to go back and listen again. I think you said, "No, it's all right." And I was then, trying I, to be nice. See. <laughs> Come on, you gotta shoot. You gotta be like Jim Cornette and shoot straight. You can't this hold this shoe back. This game mother. Oh, uh, hey, uh, you don't want me to shoot. <laughs> and but yeah, I mean, the good news too, and you know, I liked it, and um, looking forward to playing it some more. Uh, and the good news too for the NES, which confused me. I mentioned this in the LP. I was like, wait a minute here. When I, I did not see the movie first, I played the game first, and so. I was like, okay, this is the Goonies 2. Where's the first game at? There is no first game. Well, then why is it called the Goonies 2? So apparently, it's a sequel to the movie. Well, no. Well, what what is it then? What? You don't know about the original Goonies that was released only for the Famicom? No. no. This, this, well, not just only. It did get uh, released in America, but only on the Play, to- Play Choice 10 arcade cabinets. So wait, so there's actually a Goonies 1 which came out Famicom first. But yeah, well, there's no yeah North American car- single cartridge release or like a, an official release in North America of the See, original The Goonies. That's where things get chronologically confused. It's like, why didn't they just make it on NES, have two... Well, I make a sequel on a different platform. That's where things throw me off. But I think well, other games do that too. This could, well, perhaps this could be the uh, first playthrough on uh, 2016. SGK. Maybe. I'm not. Gonna I don't know it. what you're getting. This week I want to do it. I'm. I'm. I'm good. I. I'm, I know. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, the next LP started. December 14th, by J-Man. Let's play WWF Superstars Arcade. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yes, ECW action there. Um, we only played that as well. <laughs> yeah, about 30-minute video. Uh, that was pretty good. Of course, the old-school WWF stars Macho Man Hogan, the Ultimate Warrior, Honky Tonk Man, jeez, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, all that good stuff. So that was good. Then right after that, about a week later... WWF WrestleFest, once again by J-Man. That was pretty fun. Almost an hour long. Star Soldier was in that one for a little bit. That was an arcade game that I was thinking of. Seeing when I was a kid that never got to play when I was at the arcades. And I think in some ways that one might be better, except it didn't have the Macho Man in it. Yeah, I know. How you gonna have Macho Man? Right? Come on, man. Uh, licensing? He was with a company at the time. I don't know. So yeah, it could be that. See, uh, we got. I asked the same question to we. Uh, I mean, to, to Ronnie. Um, and yeah, there you go. Yeah, so <laughs> that was weird, but still a good game nonetheless. Demolitions in it, and that's pretty cool. Big Boss Man, all the old school up here, the top old school characters. I tried to uh, be a troll to uh, Road Warriors. Yeah. You can't talk bad about the Warriors. Come on, they'll give you a rush. A rush of what? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that's up to you to decide. A rush of ECW. All right, and that does it for the year in review for S2K 2015. That's all the LPs and podcasts we did. Definitely not a bad year. The highlights, again, you guys may have a different view, but to me, the top three highlights I can think of, the Magus interview, the S2K website, even though they don't really have nothing to do with YouTube in particular, but it is S2K related. Website came back, and that was kind of cool. Even though I'm kind of not really big on forums anymore like I used to be, 
it was still pretty cool and um some people have from youtube have joined they may not post messages but they still join and the uh nes 30th anniversary podcast and this um 60th anniversary podcast that was pretty good as far as the lps punt my my time is punch out and Lil Nemo the Dream Master are probably my favorite LPs of 2015. What do you say, we got? Uh, yes, uh, I would agree with uh, the uh, NES podcast. That was, of course, uh, a highlight because, of course, it's me, the Wii guy yeah. who loves the NES so much. Yeah. And any chance to talk about the NES and the music, of course, is a good time for me. Yeah. And yeah, LPs were good in terms. I mean, of course, I didn't do any. Oh, unfortunately, hopefully I'll get back to that sometime in the future. But for commentary, it was still good. Uh, definitely the Defender of the Crown, I think, was uh, one of my favorites. There was something awesome. good to that. Something that really brought back the memories. Yeah. Now, I know you've been busy with multi-tapped. Um, but like you, I was just about to ask you, but you just mentioned it. If uh, you may plan to try to do some LPs in 2016 on the S2K if you can. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if uh, there's no plans, no real plans, but it's always open. I'm not entirely like done. Yeah, with the SC2K, I just have to. I don't know. I have to find my 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 inspiration again. Now you're under or not inspiration. You're under contract just... with S2K, so you can't be with both channels. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, 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 that's right. I forgot. I forgot about that clause I signed. Yeah. It's, it's fine print on it's fine print on Facebook. Yes, I'm under contract. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yep, on the dotted line. Yeah, the dotted line. <laughs> yeah. All right, J-Man, what would you say is the best times of 2015 for SC2K? Uh, the uh, NES 25th uh, anniversary. Uh, 25th? We never did. Oh, no. wait. I mean 30th anniversary. <laughs> That was a joke. Yeah, Come get it right. On. Get it right to be a fanboy here. Get it right. It's 30th on. anniversary. Hey, hey, come on. I guess I'm acting like green right now. Green. <laughs> I'll send the mafia on you. Right? Um, really, I didn't like 2015, and I'm looking forward to 2016. Oh, wait. It is 2016. Yeah, we're already ah. there. Yep. And I might as well get this out of the way um, because on January 3rd of this year, I uploaded a quick video, about five, six minute video, an update on LPs. I uploaded this video on both the Ron Moore and S2K channels. So speaking of going back and doing videos again, wow, you're going to really see that this year because I talked about how uh, long story short, the video is, is self-explanatory. Basically, what I'm going to do is there's LP finish what you start. Finish what I started. I never finished some LPs because I thought let's plays didn't necessarily mean you had to finish a game. Well, apparently it is. So I decided, yeah, you know what? It would be fun to go back and do these games and LPs again. Now I I did finish Simon's Quest on the S2K, but not on the Ron Moore channel. I'm not going to do that again because it's already completed. Just a different channel. But LPs I never completed, period. Uh, like, uh, is what I'm going to definitely do again. Like, I've never finished Kung Fu Kid. I never finished Castlevania 1 and 3. So, I may go back. Uh, uh, what about Eastwatch? Uh, East Watt, that was that was a that was a long time no play. I'm not I'm not talking about long time no plays or less checkouts. I'm talking about less play, time to plays on the Ron Moore channel. I know. I'm just I'm. I guess. Okay. I'm just well, I thought there was confusion there. I just wanted to clear that up. No. Um, but my video no. explains everything. The update on LP's video. And yeah, so look for um. I guess you can say more. I guess recycled lps but this time with a more different perspective and a different variety in terms of commentary and people joining and uh to actually better quality as far as video because i have a newer computer with a much better video card and, and desktop recorder so um and i really feel like Welcome. you know i want to go back and finish what i started because i mean i misunderstood the reference uh, the misunderstood the definition of lps and over the years like, i kind of didn't care about it but now i'm like 
I think I should go back and finish. It would be fun to do. I am interested in doing that. So there you go. Look forward to that on both my channels. Uh, and again, for example, I never finished Metroid on my cha on the Rombor channel. But I did finish it on S2K. So if you want to see the completed LP, check it out on S2K, Shameless Plug, which is still my favorite LP I've done to this day. Yeah, plus we're in it. Yep. Early early we guy and J-Man and whoever else was there. Yep. Uh, Bear. We met Bear for the first time in that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jeff was in there. Uh, I wanted to meet your mom. Um, and other people <laughs> from, from the past that we used to be affiliated with. And I think Green was in there. That was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so 2016 does seem interesting. But, again, like I mentioned before ending the update on LP's video, I'm not guaranteeing or promising anything on a certain date, certain time, whatever, but I do promise to try to do these videos, but um, just stay tuned and stay subscribed, and hopefully we'll see more LPs from maybe J-Man and Wee Guy on the channel. That would be a real interesting 2016. More commentaries with Star Soldier, more podcasts. There is an interview, no spoilers, but there is an interview I plan to conduct with someone who is a, a big YouTuber who may be on an upcoming S2K podcast. So <clears throat> stay tuned for that. It does look interesting. Hopefully by January 2017, we'll be sitting here saying, man, 2016 was freaking ECW. But I hope so. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we'll see. And uh, Great so, shoot. Great shoot. Who? Uh, great shoot. Great shoot! What? You did a great shoot! Oh, okay. Oh, great! Ah. Oh, a great shoot! Okay, I thought you say grape shoes. I'm like, I don't get the reference. Anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> and I also plan on interviewing Jim Cornette. Oh, no, I was kidding. <laughs> that would be oh. the highlight of all highlights on S2K if me, J Man, and Jim Cornette were in on the podcast. That Jim would be that would definitely be ECW. Forget, with all due respect, forget Stuart Schmidt, forget Magus, forget anybody else we interview. Jim right. Cornette would take, yeah, with, yeah Jim Cornette. Or the, the, the failed uh, Billy Mitchell interview. Oh, yeah. I mean, for those of you who don't know, we were trying to do an interview with Billy Mitchell back in 2010, but he kind of backed out. Yep. That's a true story. Bear talked to him. To Bear talked to him. J Man talked to him, too, I think. And yeah, I talked to him, and, uh, and then it was his brother, Jim. Jim. Jimmy Mitchell. <laughs> Jimmy yeah. Mitchell. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. Jim, uh, does um, his brother and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's having his hot sauce right now. Uh, uh, uh. And, well, yeah, whatever. But, I mean... We still had uh, some other great podcasts and interviews. We did interview Star Soldier a few years ago. That was good. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so I also want to do a shameless plug here on, uh, I, I think it's going to be, I don't know what channel it's going to be on. If it's going to be in the Magus channel or where, but I'm a member of the Facebook group League of Ordinary Gamers. It was originally called Magus X1, but he changed it because it's not, you know, Magus said it's not about him. It's about you know, the community. League of Ordinary Gamers, uh, I think me, him, and two other people, I'm not sure if it's going to be Michael Burnham or, or whoever, the other two people, but we're going to try to do maybe a weekly or bi-weekly podcast, and I do plan on being a part of that. We're going to, I think, record it here in a few days, and so, uh, yeah, I'll put the Facebook chat group in the description box. If you care to join that, keep up to date with that, and show, yeah, show uh, hug. Facebook. No yeah. Facebook. <laughs> Man, uh, face palm. Uh, uh all right, guys, so that is it. Um, happy late New Year. I wish everybody a great 2016, um, both uh, personally and professionally and YouTubely and ECWly. And so that is it. And quarterly. Yeah, Oakley Doakley. Oakley Doakley. All right, that is it. We're out of here. Ron Moore? As yeah. me, guy. No, me. <laughs> and then you. What well, no. ended on you Damn because man. you're the best. Then, the end last, yeah. lady, last for best. Ladies, okay, I'll be last. Ladies first, Chun Lee. I'm just kidding. Oh. Man, that one's old. <laughs> All right. Damn. Points of reference. All right. Um, I, I guess that's it. Uh, yep. And God bless. Take care. Peace. Bye. Chintu.